So you're using the same script. Are you using funnel scripts to do this? I mean, not that, anymore, but I did for a while. It's a pretty good tool to start out with, though. It, right? it is, though, yeah. Right. Definitely. Um, the only difference between what you guys are doing and what I personally do is that um, I, I usually write my own webinars. I write my own scripts. I write my own. I don't write any of my page copy anymore, though. That's handed off to somebody else totally. Great. Thanks. But yeah, we're doing all that for you, though. Yeah. Uh, and you may go into this later on, but regarding the origin story, does that change based off of what product you're doing? I mean, obviously, you still have your family and different things, but that sales message, when you said, hey, your product may not fit in health, wealth, and relationships, but your sales message is better. Yeah. Do you do the same with the origin story, or uh -huh. how does that kind of work? Do you guys see my top lead funnels launch? I don't know if you guys saw that at all. We decided at the end of this affiliate contest in ClickFunnels, like two days beforehand, I hadn't promoted it at all. I was like, some of the ClickFunnels staff reached out and they're like, we want you to win and not the other guy. Could you go <laughs> promote? I said, all right. So we, we found topleadfunnels.com and because uh, it was called Lead Funnels. So I was like, that's hilarious. Let's buy that. So you can't trademark Lead Funnels. <laughs> but I found topleadfunnels.com. Um, and in an afternoon, we built and pounded out this really cool offer. And we thought, you guys can watch me go through this. If somebody is buying something called Lead Funnels from Russell Brunson, what are they hoping to get? Leads, obviously. But what are they going to struggle with? What do you think they'll struggle with? The offer? What else? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, like, mic drop. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what else? Traffic. Traffic? Funnel. They're like, I need leads. Yes, they don't have a copy. Now, not all problems pay you the same. So what are the most valuable problems you just listed that I could add as bonuses if they buy through me? So we created an op. If they're like, hey, I need leads, they probably don't know how to go and create products. They wouldn't struggle with leads if they knew how to make little small front-end products. So we were like, hey, why don't we white label some of my products? Did you guys see that? Like, let me go white label three of these products. So we found some old speeches that I had given that are like so good, but we don't use them for anything. We transcribed them. Now it's an ebook. And we gripped the audio, and now it's an audio book. We put the course in, along with a really cool like, map. Boom, mini course. And we did it three times. Now they can white label and take those and sell them for anything they want and just pushes the brand further. Right? And um, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you guys can see me go through that just a little bit here. Um, same thing with like, the Hamilton Funnel. That's promoting Russell's book, One Funnel Away. My market is ClickFunnels, so I serve them. I grab my leads from them. And uh, that's why I promote so much stuff like that. Financially, it makes no sense for me to be doing it. But how many guys have done One Funnel Away? Worked. <laughs> right? We're going to relaunch One Funnel Away story soon. Uh, our uh, One Funnel OFA sign up. Where's the other? Oh, thank you very much. What's the unique link that For your example, distributor link. I'm just going to redirect them to my distributor link. Yeah. Ready? And one. Hey, so, uh, th so in this one, is this for promoting them as a partner into your MLM or for a customer for your, your MLM product? For your example, I would, I would probably use to sell the product. To sell the product, this would be that. But honestly, we've done the same thing for recruiting. Usually, I just use the phone one, though, because they apply. Right, they apply. It's a totally different dynamic. 2,000 have asked to join my downline. Right. I've only let in like 400. You, you know what I mean? Like yeah, it, yeah, clearly. Half of them, pick like, who you want, not who wants you. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. Oh. Just on that note, how did these, all of these funnels, which seemed like uh, top end funnels, yeah. top, of the, um, top of your funnel, uh, how do you connect the strategy of using these funnels to filter out who you want, like who your dream customer is? Usually, it seems like it's going to let in a lot of people that you don't want. Yeah, there's like 50,000 people on my list now. <laughs> and um, a lot of it is, uh, and then we get probably, I don't know, right now it's, it's 100 people a week joining the Facebook group. I don't hear from most of them, though. Um, it's a lot of it in people who are respond to my marketing messaging. So it's the follow-up sequences. So if you're going to use this as a core, like if you're an MLM, this would be the core of your entire business. If you're like, hey, I sell something of my own product, this would probably, I would use this as like a lead gen tactic. I wouldn't even think about it till I need more leads. Make sense? 
Yeah. Slightly off topic. Can a company have two core offers? Usually, no. Okay. In the future, maybe. <laughs> but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try to do two at the same time. Yeah. No, you're fine. Oh, big throw. So I should be a wide receiver. <laughs> that was uh, uh, so like with our, our, what we've chosen to do, um, our product works for a lot of different things. We pick something that works really well for us, ADHD. And so we're kind of building out like an ADHD funnel that they can go buy our product. And then, um, and then as they like it, then upsell them into becoming a partner. So would you then on this one, you'd be a funnel all about how ADHD and our products, and then the next one would be the phone funnel or the application. Is that how you would do it? Um, for what you're doing in this, I would build one funnel okay. for product. Do you ship your product personally or do they ship no, it for you? No, company sends it. Yeah, so I would use this one then. I wouldn't use the product funnel since you can't upsell right there and ship out. Right. I would use this one and uh, say, hey, the MLM I'm with, or network marketing company I'm with, uh, ADHD is all over the place, hence all the gifts below. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> for all the flashiness. Um, this is what you get from the company. This is what you can get from me. Click below and get it from me. And even if you choose not to, you get all these cool bonuses that you're going to drip on out to them. Okay. Okay. That's Makes what sense. I would go do. Yeah. I'd lead with product or recruiting. <laughs> so this is so awesome, bro. Thank you so much for yeah, creating it. this Thank event. You. So I was going through all the training in the Xavier model and I was thinking like, what do I want to sell? So I sell all physical products. Mm. Um, and the, the X, what I thought, what I wanted to sell, like how you said, how much do you want to charge? I put together like a three month package for 497. Cool. Um, so is that okay to do through a, a presentation funnel or would you recommend a product funnel? Um, mm. So it's all physical and because I was trying to figure out how can I charge more than just like, you know, $47 or $97 per product. If I bundled three months worth and explained why you need three months of the product and did a presentation funnel and made it a one-time offer. Yeah. Um, I was working with a guy, we worked with a guy once that was doing food storage. So you could go buy all the cart, all these food storage things, or instead do a webinar and bundle it together for like 2000 bucks. And I believe that, that is what made it work so much better. Awesome. Yeah. And then you can find out what the things are that people want the most in the future, go build a product funnel that is, that uh, they could sell a la carte and be like, do you want the rest of the pack? Go watch the free presentation, right? And push them to it afterwards. But for, I would do the webinar for now. Awesome, thank yeah. you. Cool.